Hey friends, today is gonna be a great day. I was invited out to actually ride the Disney Skyliner before it's officially opened the 29th of September. So I'm super excited to see how comfortable they are, what's the ride like, what's the views like. It's gonna be a great time. Let's go do this. And just look at these little guys. Aren't they adorable? I love it. And they zip around so quick it looks like. This is gonna be so much fun. It's also very good to mention that today is the first day of fall and the weather is beautiful. It's about 85 degrees. So I know that a big concern about the gondolas are because they don't have AC, how's it gonna feel inside? Is it gonna be hot inside once if you get stuck? Well, we're gonna find out, but 85 degrees today, so there's not gonna be that much heat. But I mean, if you are stuck up there, it could get hot probably, but we'll find out. I really like that Disney Skyliner sign right there. I don't know why, it reminds me of like a little diner. That's pretty nifty. Like I said before, the gondolas don't officially open to the 29th, but today they are doing cast member previews and I was invited out by a cast member. How cool is that? And we are in. Look at that, they give you a Disney Skyliner map so you know where you're going and where you need to get off. Very cool, I'm excited. Look at that pretty Disney Skyliner sign there. I'm telling you, it just reminds me of like a, a 50s diner and I like it a lot. Oh wow. And there's like zero to no weight actually. Well, that's because of the cast member previews, but look at that. We're just walking right up in there. Look at those little beauties. Ooh, look at how they're turning. Wow, that's really fascinating. Remember me. Though I have to say goodbye, remember me. Oh, we're getting in this one. Oh. Wow. <laughs> Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> wow, that was really easy off, right? Yeah. It wasn't bad. Alright. It's pretty cool. Okay, so they did not These like air vents up here really make it cool in here. I'm actually cooler in here than I was standing inside like the little waiting area below. It's like really smooth. Yeah, that's like no bumps really. I like it a lot. These are just awesome. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. We got the mango Looks like we're heading to Caribbean Beach. Look at that. Do you want to read the vlog? Yes. <laughs> she wants to read the vlog. Hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. Here we go. <laughs> Very dark. Wow. Oh, oh. Off here? Whoop. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. That was fun and interesting. We're going to go back, though, I think. Unless we're walking back to Hollywood Studios. <laughs> wow. That was super fun. I mean, just looking at the views, and actually, I could say that I feel like if you wanna cool off, you take a ride on the Skyliner because the air that's blowing through those vents, it's pretty awesome. It really does keep you nice and cool. And now we are in the main hub area, and they actually have a little Skyliner photo opportunity, and this is where it's gonna direct you on which one you need to go to. So over on that side is Art of Animation and Pop Century, and then to the right is Disney Riviera and Epcot, and then Hollywood Studios straight ahead. Pretty awesome. We're gonna continue our Skyliner excursion, and we're gonna head to Pop Century and Art of Animation. Ooh, I'm excited to see which one we get now. I want the Haunted Mansion. There it is. Ooh, it looks like it might be us. Yeah, let them go. You guys go. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh yeah, we're doing it. Hi. Two. 
Right here? Yes. Madam Leota, here we come. <laughs> oh, look at this. Here we go. <laughs> that reminds me of the Peter Pan. <laughs> and away we go. Look at it, it's just like it's quiet. Wow. There's Caribbean Beach over there. Wow, this is so much fun. I don't think you can ever get hot in here. It's nifty that they have the little vents here with the windows that you can open and close, but I'm not sure why you would ever close them. I don't know, some people do get cold here in Florida. Coming up on Art of Animation, there's the Little Mermaid section right there, and then Pop Century on the other side, and then I forget what this gateway is called. I think it's uh, the Millennial Gateway. I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I'll have to find out. We arrived over at the Millennial Gateway, and look at that. Going over the water, that is fantastic. Wow, also look at the big spinny wheel going, doing its job there. We're gonna hop right back onto the Skyliner so that we can head back to the main hub, but it's good to know that the maximum is 10 guests. That's pretty, pretty big. 10 guests in there? I don't see it happening. Now we're getting in the yellow one. Ooh. <laughs> I'm excited to show you guys what it's like going over the water, because that is pretty nifty. have a special loading area for ECVs and wheelchairs and such and it actually separates from here so that it doesn't stop the actual rotation so it just comes out and then goes back in that's cool because it really does save on time and doesn't put anybody in a rush we've done Hollywood Studios we've done Art of Animation and Pop now it's time that we head to Epcot and Riviera hello there <laughs> look at little Rem Rem Oh, and a meal. Wow. The mechanics are pretty awesome on this. This is going to be our first where we actually just stay in the cart. This is the Riviera, but we don't have to get out. We can just 
go right in a loop and head to Epcot. Thank you. We're going to Epcot? Yep. Awesome. The doors are going to close, and then they're going to open and close on the other side, and then you'll head out to Epcot. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Literally, you just go in a little turn right here, and then off to Epcot we go. That's awesome. So, actually, when we're in this little tiny turn at the Riviera Resort, it actually gets a little hot inside the cabin. They have fans on the outside that's blowing at the actual gondolas, but still seems a little steamy in here. But now that we are actually cleared to go, we're going to get some air back in here and it'll take us right over to Epcot. Ooh, look at this. Oh yeah, as soon as you start moving again. We invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy the most magical flight on Earth. It's the Spaceship Earth. There's the American Pavilion right there. And then Italy right there. How cool is that? Wow. Now we're going to come up on the Speedway gas station. And then I think it's going to bend towards the boardwalk. Yeah, that's what it's going to do. Very cool. If you can see right here, the Eiffel Tower. Just on top of the building there. To review your How cool is that? For the day. Hello, gas pumpers! <laughs> so yeah, I always thought that this was a loading station, but it's just a turnabout. Wow! Oh, oh, that's a little rocky. Whoo! That caught me off guard, but it's okay. It's okay. They really drop you in there, and you get inside these little holders and it strains you out but oh boy that's a little bit rocky here here here's a good example oh. now we're going past the boardwalk and look at this coming into view is disney's boardwalk inn and disney's boardwalk villas from elegant dining and magical lounges to lively entertainment just off the shores of crescent lake this charming seaside resort relives the golden era of Atlantic beach towns oh. and turn-of-the-century amusement parks. We're stuck. So we are actually standing still and just rocking and uh, it still seems cool. Yeah, it still seems cool, but we're at a standstill here. Oh, we're moving. There's the boardwalk. We're just moving very slowly. Huh. Oh, look at this. That is awesome. There it is. The Ratatouille ride. Opening summer 2020. Awesome. You get a real good look at it. That's going to be a great ride. I cannot wait. And I like how they put that little banner out there because they know that the gondolas are going to be driving by. That is awesome. Ooh, a backside view of the France Pavilion. And as you can see, there's the Eiffel Tower. Wow. Just to show you how they're going to expand the France Pavilion, this is going to be a walkway and they're going to have a new restaurant. And that might be the actual entrance to the Ratatouille ride, actually, in that little corridor there. That's awesome. We're at the World Showcase loading platform. And look at this. It's very cool in here. And I think they have restrooms. I don't know. I'm going to find out. We are going to go back on now and head over back to the Riviera Resort. But it's nice to know that at all the loading platforms, they have restrooms available. Wow, the coolest and prettiest part has to be going over the Caribbean Beach Resort because all the different buildings, they're different colors and they're different theming. It's pretty awesome. Looks like a small island. Look at that. Yeah, very cool to point out that as you sit down on the bench, they have little vents that blow the air up to your butt. 
And look at this, right here at the main loading station, they have a Joffrey's right down there for your convenience. Oh, bumpy landing. <laughs> So the ride from the Riviera to Epcot is about a good 15 minute ride and it's actually very enjoyable. Relax. I love this. The views are spectacular. By far my favorite is that one. But for now, we're heading back to Hollywood Studios. And that was my whole entire trip on the Skyliners. I loved it. I think it's fantastic. I think that it's going to do great things in the transportation in Disney World and getting people from the resorts to the parks. So I hope you had fun. I hope it showed off a little bit what you wanted to see and love the life you live. We'll see you next time. Bye.